I have been working with really um, in intense colors, and I like that. I like doing plein air painting. I'm mainly a plein air painter these days because I um, just can connect emotionally with the the country and uh, the scenery when I'm out here painting. You know, and I, that's what I'm trying to do is get that emotional connection in my uh, work. And this is a pretty intense place to work. You know, you've got these outrageous rocks and scenery, and um, so I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Yeah, and I, I just, I really enjoy the plein air work. I think sometimes that I look, I try to find things that are, that have an energy and increase the energy, like the water actually moves really slowly, but trying to pick up almost like a whiteheads and, you know, as if the, the water's rolling more, so it gives some energy um, and movement, kind of stippling and, and creating higher, higher contrast. Um, I've never painted out here before. This is my second day I've ever painted um, outside. So it's been an experience with all the elements and dropping my canvas into the dirt and um, almost kind of getting a little bit of Smith Rock in my painting, which is kind of fun. <laughs> the High Desert Art League and Smith Rock State Park have come together to basically create an annual event to bring artists together and the community and to expose new people to Smith Rock State Park and to create a bigger interest in both art and the park with a juried exhibition that follows the show at the Redmond Airport. The artists that are here range from beginners to very experienced, well-known artists, um, and they work in a lot of different media. So they're all going to come to this place, and they'll be looking at the same thing, but they've all got their own interpretations. And some of them are focusing on the big picture, and some of them are focusing in on more minute elements. Some of them are even incorporating other artists into their pieces. There's a, a lot of variety and a lot of interpretations.